Hey, welcome back, guys. How you doing? It's me, Mr. Four Cap Scaler. Um, I was debating if I was gonna make this video or not, but this really caught my eye, and um, it kind of has me thinking: Should we worry about shortage of Xbox One Xs this uh, holiday season, or should we not? Well, we'll talk about that throughout this video a little bit, and. Uh, and I'll give you my thoughts, I'll give you my opinions on it, and uh, we'll kind of dissect this whole thing to try to figure out why is it that this has never happened before, uh, to my knowledge, on previous E3 shows where, you know, uh, a head of a uh, company, in this case Phil Spencer, or whoever it was in the past, would come out on stage and would announce the console and then would keep us like hanging for at least two months now without pre-orders being available. And uh, Phil Spencer, I, I look, I like Phil Spencer. I, I like the guy and everything, but I don't think he was, uh, either he can talk about it or there's some other reasons why he can't talk about it i feel like he's not telling us the whole story as to why uh pre-orders weren't available on the e3 uh because everybody was in the standby i was in the standby i was in my amazon account like okay when soon as it becomes available let me click on it but uh he never gave like straight answer explanation as to why that is why do we have to wait for these pre-orders it's almost august i mean we were like three months away before the launch of a console right uh well you got august september october that's it once we hit october that november summit it's going to be right around the corner so we're like really close to that window of console launching and you still don't have pre-orders ready uh that kind of worries me a little bit uh, it tells me they're having some sort of issue with uh, distribution, maybe with whoever is distributing, whoever is uh, shipping out the consoles out there. Maybe they're having some issues with other countries or maybe China or look, I don't know. I don't have the fact. I'm just giving my guessing. I'm just guessing, you know, uh, but the one thing I'm sure we all can agree on that there's some sort of a problem. Uh, obviously, because uh, why wouldn't you release the pre-orders immediately? Get as many pre-orders as possible. If there's a supply and demand, so be it. Uh, that means that the console, it's really on a high demand. But right now, you know, it's, it's almost August. And you're so late in the game. And even right now, late in the game, almost August, uh, there is an article right here from IGN where Microsoft, uh, Phil Spencer on the Xbox One pre-orders, he said, not much longer now. But what does that mean? That doesn't tell me anything. Not much longer means it could be September that pre-orders will go online. It could be October that pre-orders, I don't think it's going to go to the October, most likely mid-August, uh, right around the football season, uh, preseason, I'm guessing. Uh, the latest Labor Day, uh, like honestly, I'm thinking like after Labor Day, like that's like the the latest, that's like the limit, that's like the deadline that they are going to be on. Like, But even if it's September for pre-orders, that still should worry people, uh, meaning they're having some problems. Uh, some sort of issues like I don't know what it is, uh, whether they're suppliers or whoever out there in Europe or Asia. I don't know, but I just know that they're having some problems with shipping or some other issues that we don't know about and some other issues that probably Microsoft doesn't want to tell us what that is. Because it seems to me, I've been watching, look, like I said, I like Phil Spencer. But I have a feeling that that there's something he can't talk about about this. You know what I mean? Like that they're having some problems and he doesn't want us to know exactly what it is. 
Because then if he tells us, then all the Sony fanboys will just go, happy, 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 you know, <laughs> happy spamming uh, everybody who likes Xbox. Uh, they'll, they'll just give them the the, conf the confidence that, that, you know, maybe the Xbox One X launch won't be as smooth as we think. And uh, this is what he says, you know, this is, let me read this really quick. Uh, Our plan is set for this, Spencer said on Twitter. When asked when the console will be available for pre-order, uh, quote, he said, all approvals are done. So now just landing the announce with all the info won't be too much longer. But here is my issue with this uh, answer. Here, let me highlight this. Uh, here's my problem with this answer. Uh, and I like Phil Spencer, but this answer, the way he gave the answer to this IGN uh, person that was interviewing him, uh, it sounds as if there's something else going on that we don't know about uh, behind closed doors with the Xbox One X. Uh, what that is, I don't know, but this tells me Phil Spencer can't tell us exactly what that is. Uh, and should we worry about shortages of Xbox One Xs? Should we also worry about if we pre-order it and then they don't have enough quantities and they'll have to cancel some pre-orders? Let's say Amazon won't be getting enough quantities or something and then your pre-order will get cancelled and you'll have to re-pre-order it again when, once they get another shipment. Uh, are we going to have those sorts of problems? Is that going to happen? Is this going to be a, like a disastrous lunch or is it going to be a smooth lunch? Look, I don't want to be some drama queen because uh, I want this xbox one x launch to be as smooth as possible i want everybody to be able to get one but something tells me that it could go either way because uh the interviews that I've been that i've been watching so far it's almost like he's avoiding this question and he's more concentrated on forza 7 and crackdown 3 like he doesn't want to give the straight answer as to why the pre-orders haven't been available from day one on E3. Day one on E3. Every other console that was released before that, day one on E3, the, the moment person, uh, the head of the company announces uh, the product becomes available for pre-orders right away. But with the Xbox One X, that wasn't the case. Uh, what was it, June 7th? So let's see, June, July, two months. Two months and a half, almost, almost two months and a half, and here we are, like in the August, close to two two months, still no pre-orders, man. That that should worry some people. I mean, that should that worries me because I do want to get this console. Look, the last thing I want this holiday season is fighting with the traffic, fighting with the uh, you know with the people in the stores trying to get a console. I don't want to deal with that shit, man. Especially during the holidays. I, I, I fucking hate holidays for, for a variety of fucking reasons because it's a chaos out there. Everybody's on the fucking edge. It's busy. People drive like fucking crazy. Everybody's on the edge. Uh, it's a shopping fever right before Thanksgiving. I don't want to deal with that shit. You guys don't want to deal with that shit to get a fucking console. I'm sorry for the F word, but... I don't want to put myself in that position. I like to have a sealed deal, pre-order the console, so come November 7th, November 8th, I get my uh, shipment and I'm good to go. But something tells me that this may be, this could go either way. We might not have a smooth lunch on this console, man. I hope I'm wrong. Look, I hope I'm wrong. And I hope everybody shits on this uh, video if I'm wrong. You know what? If I'm wrong and smooth goes, the lunch goes as smooth as it can be, 
then I'll make a video say, hey, I was wrong and I'm glad that everything went smooth because uh, I want the console. We all want the console. But I'm worried about this a little bit, man. I am worried about it. Because look, listen, to, uh, read the highlighted answer that he gave. It's almost like there's barely any confidence. All approvals are done. So now just landing the announce with all the info won't be too much longer. It's really a it's really a half-assed answer, kind of an answer that I have a feeling that there's something else that Phil Spencer is not telling us about this holdup. Two months, man. It's it's almost two months, and here we are, all in the August, almost in the August. And still, uh, we don't know when the pre-order is going to be available. And look at the way he left the answer. If he had said, look, if Phil Spencer had said, you guys can expect to see uh, pre-orders go on online active uh, the first week of uh, August or the second week of August or something like that. But he didn't say that. Like, he didn't say it with confidence. He's still kind of avoiding to tell us what the hell it's really going on. So he gave us some sort of, like, uh, less confident, half-assed answer here, which is all approvals are done. So now, what approvals, dude? What What do you mean by that? What do you have to approve? Why is it taking so long? Okay, if, if is it something that has to do with the... Uh, uh the the government they have to uh check it approve it like aren't you guys supposed to do that before what were you doing all these uh all these months prior to the announcement of the council like why you why is taking so long uh at least give us here's here's what i want to want to say and uh i doubt phil spencer will be watching this but if he does because i do follow the guy and uh you know, and one an interesting thing is too. There was a there was a tweet that he posted about the Xbox One X, and uh, he said, you know, it won't be too much longer, something like along those lines. He retweeted that, but then he took that tweet out, and I don't see it anymore. Uh, I don't see it. It was on his Twitter, but then he moved it. He removed it. Like you can't even find it anymore. So why would you remove it from your Twitter page? You know what I mean? It's almost like, I swear to God, it's almost like he doesn't want to tell us uh, that there's some issues. And if he tells us what the issues are, then people will be worried. They'll be like, oh shit, we might see some shortages of this console. Or this is not going to be a smooth lunch. Or something like that. So I'm kind of, I'm, I'm really worried about this whole thing. because. Uh, why can't you just tell us what it is? Okay, I understand. Sometimes, you know, you have to go through uh, certain inspections. Uh, the FAA, aviation has to approve it depending on uh, what sort of, like, uh, chips and what, what's, what sort of uh, equipment it's put inside. You know what I mean? Uh, so they have to approve it as well when people take, when people carry it with them when, in the luggages and whatnot. All of these things has to go through a process, but why can't you talk about it? Why can't you tell us exactly what is the holdup of the pre-orders not being available? Like, what what is it? Is it something with with uh, uh, other countries? They're having a problem with the shipment, or something's going on. Like, like there's something going on that he doesn't want to tell us. And then why would you remove the the the, the tweet the tweet uh, feed that he had where he posted a tweet tweet feed? I looked everywhere, I couldn't find it. I still can't find it, so uh, it's not there anymore. Uh, he did re re uh, retweeted this, which is the uh, the Blade Runner Final Cut, which comes on September. But look, here's the thing. Uh, this answer, I'm not like really. I'm not satisfied with this. This worries me, man. 